Welcome back on my Cuno with Sports. We've reached the final round of the Miami Open. For the first time in four years, we have a new queen of the court. The stage was set for Victoria Azarenka and Svetlana Kuznetsova. Try to say that five times fast. Everything going Azarenka's way early on. She takes the first set 6-3, then kept cruising through the second. Forehand right on the back line. All Kuznetsova can do is watch it go. Man, that's a tough shot. And when I said everything was going Azarenka's way, I really meant it, including the backhand. Azarenka wins in a route, 6-3, 6-2. The final, she follows up in a win at Indian Wells with her third Miami Open title. I'm just so very happy that, um, you know, all the work I've been putting in is paying off. I'm very happy to step out on the court and uh, uh, results are, you know, results are just great and I just want to keep continue to improve. But it's such a great opportunity to, to play the whole month so consistent and uh, still improving. Well, the NBA season is winding down and the Heat are now the number three seed in the East thanks to a win over the Sacramento Kings late last night on the West Coast. Lou Waldang hit a huge three down the stretch to fend off a late comeback effort from the Kings 112-106 the final, but there was an unlikely hero. Gerald Green starting for the injured Dwayne Wade scores 30 points, a season high for the high flyer. He dropped 20 in the first half and thanked his teammates for helping him get out of a major slump. Joe was getting me going. Um, Gorman was getting me going, finding me, you know, you know, finding me while I'm open and um, I mean, it was just, for me, it was just knocking down easy shots wide open. Um, I haven't really, I haven't really been playing that well, obviously, but um, it was good to just see some shots going in, but even better for the system win. All right, the final four is underway. The early game between Villanova and Oklahoma tipping off just a few minutes ago. Right now, the Wildcats lead the Sooners in the first half. All right, let's kick it in Camp New. Lionel Messi in Barcelona taking on Cristiano Ronaldo in Real Madrid in El Clasico. Real Madrid attacking in the 62nd minute. Kareem Benzema takes the cross and buries it. Let's take another look. Great concentration off the deflection. This ties the matchup at one. Real Madrid taking over in the second half. Gareth Bale lobs one up to Ronaldo, who tra traps the ball and fires it in for the game winner. Real Madrid wins El Clasico 2-1. Well, the first place Panthers haven't clinched a playoff spot yet, but the postseason tickets have already gone on sale with just five games to go. Tonight, they host a Canadian puck drops at 7 o'clock. And no, your eyes are not fooling you. Those are, that's more than a dozen Yarmir Yagers on the ice. These super fans and their fake mullets follow Yager around the country going to all his games. Today, they laced them up at the Iceplex in Coral Springs. Former Panther Billy Lindsay joined in on the fun. No, the real Yager did not play because he has a game today, but that didn't stop these guys from showing off for their favorite player. He was just an icon, like he was an older player dominating these younger players. His work ethic, the way that what he represents is why we're here. He's done so much for the sport and so much for Florida. So I've been a younger fan for a long time and uh, it's a good way to, to show our, our appreciation for him. I think I could pull that hair off. No. No? Okay. No. All right, that's it for Sports CBS 4 News. We'll be right back.